Next, we have the number 57 ranked class at Vanderbilt. Um, another new head coach, Clark Lee, uh, coming home to Vanderbilt. Um, so uh, they have 25 commits. Uh, they do have one four star, which is their lone ESPN 300 commit. Uh, that is the number 11 defensive tackle, Marcus Bradley. Uh, the rest of the recruits are all three stars. So um, we'll see. There's a, a lot of uh, a lot of potential there. I mean, in in terms of uh, you know the talent that they are seeing, uh, you know, at Vanderbilt. Like we said, they got a they got a lone 300. Uh, ESPN 300 candidate. So, uh, I mean, you know, kudos to them. Um, and then, you know, I, I was looking at the quarterback situation and it looks like uh, Ken Seals, uh, I thought he showed promise last year. I expect him to be back and, and probably be, be doing uh, even better this year. Um, and he, he did decent last year with basically no ensemble around him, you know, to speak of. Um, Cause they had lost a lot of their talent to the draft uh, the year, year prior. So, um, so it'd be interesting to see what they do. Um, Jesse, do you have any expectations for, for this team in first, uh, first year at Vandy head coach Clark Lee? I mean, they're not going to do worse than they did this past season. So again, it's one of those, those situations yeah. where, Ouch. It, it, but that's the truth. I mean, didn't they lose every single game? I think so. Yeah, I believe they I think did. So. Yeah, they, they, they literally they lost they everything. Yeah. Um, so, 0-9 on the season. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you could only go up from here. Um, hopefully, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, we can get some out-of-conference games, some confidence booster games, so that Mandy can get at least one, one win. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll play Carolina and then get a win there. I don't know. But um, I, I'm i excited for them. There's there's a lot of new things happening with the head coach. Um, and three-star recruits are nothing to kind of scoff at. I mean, you look at someone like Amari Cooper. He was a three-star recruit, and now he's an uh, NFL wide receiver that does exceedingly well. Yep. So got to develop. Hopefully, things go well at at Vandy. Again, you got to develop your players. You got to focus on that talent and, and foster it. So we'll see. But you still got to go to school at Vandy. That's not easy. Mm, that's true. yeah, Matt. What what can Clark Lee do that maybe Derek Mason couldn't? Man, listen, Derek Mason, I feel like, did everything he could at Vanderbilt. And I honestly don't know what else he could have done to make that play. Make that, it, Vanderbilt's in a really tough spot because of the academic requirements they put on their kids, not to mention the fact they're playing in the toughest conference. Don't, don't at me, Big 12, uh, or Big 10, excuse me. Uh, they're playing in the Either. toughest conference in the, on the planet. Either Nobody way. at us. Um, and it's just – it's one of those situations where I don't think – you would have to have a generational coach come in, somebody who had never had a whole lot of experience who suddenly was like the next Bear Bryant mm. that showed up and somehow turned all these three stars into five stars and all that stuff. We and currently have him. I don't think there's oh, another stop one it, available. Stop. I don't want to talk about that guy. <laughs> so the thing is, is I don't think – maybe Clark Lee's that guy, but I doubt it. Um, I just – I don't see how you can turn Vanderbilt into a winner just given the situation that they're in. Now, if you took Vanderbilt and stuck them in the MAC, they'd probably win that conference every year. Yeah. But, only, but that's not the case here. The only thing I can think of is that Clark Lee is – he's a Vandy guy. Like, the, he's liter literally coming home. And I, the only mm -hmm. thing I can think of is that he, he knows the area. Perhaps he can recruit well in that regard. Uh, obviously, he knows the ins and outs of the area and stuff. He can, he can really advertise – uh, that area to the kids. I mean, that's the only thing that I can think of that he might be able to do better. Because Derek Mason, I mean, if they're I not playing up coach. being in Nashville, like play I, up well, being yeah. in Nashville. <laughs> right. I mean, if, if you're not, like, you need to. I know it's a tough school, but like, also talk about all the tutors you have and like, whatever. Right. Um, and I don't want anyone to like think that we're not saying that athletes are not smart. That's not what we're saying at all. Not there at are all. tons of them that are intelligent. Like, yes. We're not saying that. We're just saying it is hard to be a full-time, essentially a full-time job at your school as an athlete and take all of the academics that they have to have at, at Vanderbilt. So no one is saying, don't add us, that athletes are not smart. That's not it. There's a lot of adding going on this episode. I know. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to get added. Yeah. Um, yeah, so w we'll see. Um, I, I agree with you. Nashville is a great place. Um, I've only been there once, but I loved it. Um, I would love to go back. So um, I, I, it's a should be a good draw for them.